Folks, remember, uh, if you're just here, turn off your cell phones. No flash photography, no video. And we will start with a comment from Coach Tadlock and then uh, questions for the players. Guys, can you take off your caps, please? Well, Tim, give us an overview, please. Uh, congratulations to Florida. Uh, played a good game. Uh, I'd like to thank everybody associated with Texas Tech baseball, everybody associated with College World Series. Uh, it's always a lot of fun. Uh, wish we could have hung around a little longer. Uh, really proud of our team. Really proud of the way they competed. Uh, wish it could have lasted a little longer. Okay, let's open it up for questions for student athletes. Uh, wait, for, get a mic to you, identify yourself, your affiliate, your affiliate, and to whom you're asking the question. And we'll start with Mike. Emily, right here. Oh. Oh, it's dead. Uh, Mike Malloy with the Orlando Sentinel. Josh, uh, the, the Florida starting pitcher was somebody who's a, a freshman and, and uh, uh, seemed like he handled himself pretty well out there. What was he able to do uh, against you guys tonight? Uh, he was just hitting his spots, and it seemed like every time we got a base runner, he was able to shut us down um, pretty quickly. Uh, just hats off to that guy for pitching pretty good. Okay, Aaron. Aaron Fitt uh, with D-Win Baseball. Josh, you guys are down you know, 5 nothing there, I think, after, what, six innings, and you battled back, and it seemed like every time you made a push, you know, they came back with kind of a counterpunch. Did that get discouraging at some point? I know you guys never quit in this thing, but does it take a little out of you when they fire right back at you? You know, they just killed our momentum there for a minute after we scored three. They came back, scored three of their own, um, just killed our momentum. But we got it right back and put up three more. Um, just hat hats off to them for a great performance. OK, next question. Aaron. Caleb, um, you know, it seemed like you were in a pretty good groove there early on and then um, you know, was about the fourth or fifth inning. I guess they finally broke through and got a couple of hits against you. But uh, what kind of happened there in the fifth inning from your perspective? Um, well, I didn't really have my change up. And I think they started to sit fastball on me, get some hits, and that kind of got them in a rhythm. OK, right here. Caleb, Steve Bidek from the World Herald. What happened when the fourth inning, a couple of wild pitches and a stolen base in there? Was it just, and then how did you get your focus back? Um, I think you're talking about the changeup I pulled, the pass ball, the score of the runner. Yeah, the two, the two and the, one, the wild pitch before it actually got in. Yeah, um, I don't know. My changeup wasn't there today, like I said earlier. Uh, I was pulling it, spiking it a lot, it got me into trouble. But I don't know, I just tried to get past that. My curveball was there and just commanded my fastball for the most part. Aaron? Guys, just looking at the season as a whole, you know, you lose your ace before the season even really gets going, and um, you battle through some adversity in conference play, and you get hot at the end. Uh, how do you, you put the season into perspective? I know it's just, just ended, but when you look at it, how do you evaluate it? Josh, you start, please. Uh, I think we handled the adversity well throughout the season. Uh, we definitely had our ups and downs. But as, a, as the season goes, I think it was a success. Um, Tadlock always says to play your best baseball at the end. So we were just looking towards uh, coming here and playing our best baseball. Caleb? Um, we had adversity, yeah. But I think a ton of guys stepped up. And we all saw that. Everyone had each other's back. And we really were a united team. And I think that's what got us through the season, helped us be so successful. OK, any more questions for the student athletes? Guys, congratulations on a great season. You'll be back. As we said earlier, um, Oregon State, the home team, game one, or game 11 tomorrow, and Florida, the home team, in game 12 tomorrow evening. Now questions for Coach Cad Tadlock. <laughs> Jump right in. Yeah. Um, Coach, you know, kind of the same question, I guess, the way that they were able to respond when you guys kept fighting back. I mean, how discouraging is that? And how about the way your team fought today? I mean, you have to feel pretty good about that, right? Right now, you don't feel too good. Uh, our guys are going to compete. 
I mean, if you line up and play here in 30 minutes, they're going to compete. If you play tomorrow, they're going to compete. Uh, they love playing baseball. We're very proud of the way they go about and play the game. Uh, it doesn't come easy. Uh, I don't think our staff takes that for granted that our, we got a group that does that. Uh, it all starts with guys like Josh Young and Grant Little, Caleb Killian. There's just a lot of guys in there, Brian Klein, Cameron Warren. You can just name all of them nearly. Uh, they really like playing. Uh, you know, I don't know right now if it feels too good, though. I mean, it's uh, – we obviously felt like we could get through this thing and get to next week. And right now is probably a time where you just – you know, you just need to uh, – I need, probably need to process all of it. Next question. Hey, Aaron. Um, you know, Josh and Grant, I guess more of the same all season long, I mean, continued to perform well on this stage. I know it's early to look ahead, Coach, but with what you got coming back, were those guys leading the way? Um, Future looks pretty bright. You feel feel good about where this program is? Absolutely. Well, I mean, we got a good group coming in. Really excited about it. Got a bunch of guys going to fit playing here. I uh, got some guys going to be able to put some pressure on some people. Got some good arms coming in. And got some good guys coming back. I mean, it's, uh, you know, it's uh, at the same time, you got to go out and you, it's a, uh, there's definitely uh this thing, I mean, it, it all starts again tomorrow as far as all everything goes. I mean, you're constantly trying to get better and get guys, uh, develop guys. And, I mean, there's there's one thing about tonight. I mean, you know, we brought some power arms out of that bullpen, and they're probably not where you want them to be right now. Uh, but, uh, again, if, if we're guilty of believing in those guys and believing that they're going to get better, that's that's just what we're going to be guilty of because we're we're going to believe in them. They, they, we've got some really good players and got some good players coming, and uh, obviously always excited about that. And uh, that's whether you're playing for the national championship or not. You're excited about. Uh, I mean, you guys, you two guys, especially know. I mean, you know what's there in the 18 and 19, and getting close to the 20 class. It's going to be fun. Mitch. Uh, Mitch Sherman, ESPN.com. Uh, Tim, did you the way that uh, you guys were swinging in the seventh and eighth? Did you have a, a moment uh, on Reams hit the uh, the last out of the eighth? Um, did you have a moment where you thought uh, that had that had a little more than it did? Maybe in another ballpark, or maybe with a big league ball. Yeah, but not today. Not not. I really didn't. I mean, he got a little bit under it. If it's down the line, obviously, but you know where he hit it, probably not. Any more questions for Tim? Okay. Once again, congratulations okay. on the season. Appreciate all you guys. Thank you, buddy. You bet. We'll see you next year. Okay. okay. Bring him back.